So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason your particular iPhone is not showing you the most recent updates available for your particular device. Now what does this mean? Well basically if you're trying to go through and try to update your iPhone or your iPad, you might be seeing that those particular updates are not showing on your particular side. Now the first thing I'd recommend doing here for the most part is going through inside of your settings of your particular iPhone. So just like this. And what you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over to your general settings right here. You want to click on software update. And you just want to double check that this particular panel, you know, wasn't on a random panel. Make sure that, you know, you're, you're within this panel. Now, if there is not an update available, there's a couple things that can happen. One, your phone may not be supported on that particular version of software. So you can see I'm on an iPhone 10 on iOS 16. This phone is not going to be getting iOS 17, 18, 19, 20. So if I'm just in this panel, and I'm expecting an update. It may not happen. So just keep that in mind as make sure your phone is you know, still supported with that version of software. Number one. Number two, another thing you may want to try doing is to make sure that your particular device on top of that, you know, is, you know, looking for an update that's available right now if it's on a beta. So if your particular phone you're looking for, like, is on a beta software, then you won't have to install the beta profile or just click on it here. There should be a little beta option that comes up. You can toggle on that beta mode and then you'll be able to install the beta. So make sure that a particular update you're looking for is suitable for your version. Because if it's, you know, if you're looking for like a beta and it's not, you're not on the beta profile, then that might be another thing you can do is just a switch. On top of that, you may want to make sure you're properly connected to like Wi-Fi or cell connection or something like that. Because if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection or cell connection, that can also cause some issues. So just double check those things, making sure that you're on a proper Wi-Fi connection and cell connection. Another thing you can do is to restart your phone. So you can hold on to the buttons you normally would to restart your device. And go ahead and power your phone off. You want to see if that ends up fixing the problem, which for some people that might end up fixing it for you. And if that's still not working, Apple may still be pushing out the update for your particular device. So you may just have to wait a little bit of time before that update officially comes out for your phone. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.